Mr. President, I want to thank you for meeting with me today. I know we have not seen eye to eye, but I look forward to working with you in the future. Well, uh, Mr. Trump, me too. Uh, you know, true, we've had our difficulties, but uh, <clears throat> the state of the, new, of the nation is the, the, the prime thing. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that, because I really have to ask you something. I'm really losing it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I, did you see? I didn't think I was going to get the votes. I mean, did you hear the horrible things I said? I mean, I can't run a phony college. You must fix the United States of America. Mr. Trump, please get a hold of yourself. Listen, listen. Uh, I will give you this. This is one of the most responsible jobs that anybody could ever have. I mean, when I first got the job, I had little experience. I had a country that was in the midst of two wars and the worst financial crisis but, uh, since the Great Depression. And now you're coming in, and, uh, well, the worst thing the American people have to deal with is, well, you're getting elected. So it's an uphill battle. <laughs> but I think I might have advice that would really set you straight. So please, have a seat. Thank you. Mr. President, what is it I should do first? Should I... Should I work on getting some advisors and people for my cabinet? The first thing you should do is set an appointment with High Priest Juno of the Illuminati. <laughs> the Illuminati have been the king makers and the puppet masters of the American government since 1947. Be prepared to kiss a lot of rings. It's a hassle. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? I always thought conspiracy theorists were losers. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. I can't believe it. Really? <laughs> I'm fucking with you, Trump. I mean, come on. I keep remembering, you have no experience in government. You don't know anything that's going on around here. So, having a little fun at your expense, don't be so gullible. Pay back for what you said to me. Listen, seriously. <laughs> you need to make amends with China, and I mean yesterday. Forget whatever you got going on with Russia. Ch the Chinese government has been funding all of the Western powerhouses for centuries. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Oh, every time you said something bad about China, we would wince here, knowing that uh, Premier Li Keqiang, he doesn't play that. He'll slap you in front of your children just to show you he can do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mention China all the time. I said, China, 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 China. What can I do to fix it? I mean, what can I do? Well, you can realize that I've got you again. Uh, Come on, Trump. <laughs> Outrageous claims about China. That's your thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, Mr. President, I'm really losing it here. I really need some serious advice. Please give it to sure. me. Sure. You want some? Ah, yes, thank you. Thank you, Lester. Oh, my gosh. This man is your exact double. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. I, I mean, all presidents have double. I have, like, 30 of them. I, you don't think I go to all those ribbon-cutting ceremonies and photo ops myself, do you? Well, yeah. I mean, that's one of the best things about doing things like that. I love going to photo ops and ribbon-cutting. Oh, no, no, no. Forget about all that. I mean, do you have any doubles lined up? There's this one guy in Hollywood that's great. <laughs> really, really great. Doesn't always get the hair right, but very good. The last guy. I don't know if we can get him. Well, uh... I, 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 I'm fucking with you. I'm Trump. Come on. We don't look anything alike. He doesn't let the lighter skin blacks outside. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I've been having some fun with you, uh, but but let, let's be really clear here. All right. Uh, if I can give you some serious advice as president, uh, it, it'll be this. Please do. You are about to take the seat. Uh, and leading some of the most special and diverse people in, in the world. And you have to remember that they're going to be on your case every day for four years. And if you don't like what they say, you can't angrily tweet at them or threaten to sue them to make them go away. Because you are not the boss. You work for the people now. I guess you're right, Mr. President. I have to be everyone's president and convey to the American people that the rhetoric that I, I spewed to get into this position is not the way I'm going to run the country. That's what I was hoping to hear. All right, well. Thank you for taking your time, Mr. President. Best of luck to you. And uh, hey, listen, if, if things get too tense and you just need to bail out, uh, here's some advice. I can't leave the room. Forge your birth certificate. I'll give you the number of my guy. <laughs> Are you serious? Gotcha. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>